Hey everybody, it's Red Panda Gamer, and uh, I wasn't actually planning on recording any Isaac today because I've been doing so much recording, uh, finishing Heavy Rain, and I also did a marathon recording of Binding of Isaac a while ago. Uh, but then I got uh, Nine Lives in that uh, curse room back there, and I've been doing a lot of really interesting things with Nine Lives lately. Uh, off camera, and I've been wanting to do a video. I kind of wish I didn't use my bomb to get that key, but it'll probably be okay. Uh, ooh, I'm tempted to open that gold chest. I won't, though. I should, but I won't. Maybe I will. I don't know. Uh, so yeah, I had a really cool run a while back that I, for whatever reason, it was a Samson run where I got insanely overpowered because of nine lives. Um, it may not even happen this time. Basically what happened was I got a bunch of deals with the devil, and I was able to use nine lives to basically get any deal with the devil I wanted, and then uh, with, like, I think I had the Relic, I was able to build up my Spirit Hearts enough to where I was running on full Spirit Hearts, and I was so powerful that nothing could destroy me. I think I had, like, Brimstone and, like, Mom's Knife and the Pact and a few other things. So I was pretty indestructible, and uh, I kind of would like to see if I could do another run like that, and I figured, well, I might as well record it, since, you know, it's 2 in the morning and I got nothing better to do. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to go ahead and do that, if you don't mind. And obviously we're not going to get a deal with the devil. We got the bandage, which is actually awesome. Super bandage. It does bum me out a little bit because my goal, that was not really worth it. Mom's Pearl's cool and all, uh, but I kind of would have rather have kept that key. I just kind of, like, I couldn't help myself. I had to know. Uh, it kind of sucks that we actually just got that because the whole point of doing this, uh, nine lives trick is that, you know, you run out of, you're going to run out of life anyway. But, you know, maybe it'll be fine. Maybe we... I mean, we might not even end up getting any more uh, deals with the devil, so maybe it's a good thing that the game gave us some health. Uh, but then again, when you do stuff like that, then it kind of makes, like, nine lives isn't even worth it. Because then you end up with, like, one good life, and then... It's, it's like as if you never even took nine lives, really. Or, I don't really know how I'm wording this. <laughs> I'm wording it very oddly. Uh, I want to go fight our boss, but I don't really like that we're not doing more damage than what we started with. Um, obviously also I took nine lives because I really, really want to get Guppy. Uh, that is still a huge goal in my, in the game for me. And it's going to be one of the harder things to do. Uh, you'll notice I have the bandage, um, in one of my runs that I was doing just for fun on my own. Like, keep in mind, I am playing this game somewhat on my own still to kind of keep it fresh for myself. Uh, I kind of wish I didn't do it as much because I accomplished quite a bit from it. Uh, one of those things being completing a full Meat Boy, which gave me the bandage. Uh, so I apologize for that, but I mean, I'm not going to like, there's nothing I can do about it except be upfront and honest about it. And I'm sure you guys don't mind too much. Um, but I'm going to, I'm not going to be playing anymore on my own, I think, because we're getting to a point now where we're getting very close. Like, our accomplishments are very often now. Uh, I don't even know what I want this to be. And it was not it. Uh, that was not what I wanted. Let's go through this uh, curse room. Or the sacrifice room. These are like my favorite rooms now, even though stuff like that happens. Um, I love going through these. I don't know why I never did before. Hey, pretty fly. Cool. Um, but we do lose a full spirit heart, but who really cares? Uh, we also cannot go into the item room because we don't have a key because I used my key to open a gold chest, which gave us Mom's Pearl, which I think that makes spirit hearts appear more often, but I don't necessarily see that happening. Uh, but it could happen. You never know. Let's go ahead and fight our boss. It's going to be uh, Widow, normal Widow, nothing special about it, uh, which is pretty nice. It's not very often you get to just fight normal vanilla enemies. Normally they're, you get a Black Widow or the Pink Widow or the Wretched, except the Wretched is, is the Wretched a Depths boss or a Necropolis boss? I'm not even really sure. Uh, fighting bosses like this always make me wish I was playing as Samson, which I don't often wish I was playing as Samson. Uh, but we got to try our best not to take any damage so we can maybe get a deal with the Devil which will result in us being able to take a bunch of Deal with the Devil items, since uh, nine lives will basically just allow us to waste our lives on getting good items. And then this starts to turn into a glass cannon run, because you become insanely overpowered, but literally have one heart, or zero hearts, depending on uh, where that item room leaves you off. We could get a uh, an HP upgrade, which I kind of hope we don't get HP upgrades, because our main goal will probably just be to get, like, zero health. Like, I'm not afraid to use my health uh, to get what I want if you know what I mean. Uh, but we'll see what happens. I mean, I could get deals with the angels. Yeah, I, I might get nothing. But we will see in a minute. Deal with the devil. Awesome. Uh, let's go in here. Uh, we'll take Guppy's paw. 
Uh, well, we don't need to use it. I think someone told me all I do is pick it up. Wait, that only rerolled that? That was weird. But also kind of cool. Uh, uh, mm. Even though I can take it with no penalty, do I want to? Yeah, fuck it. Let's do it. So we're in cursed state now. Um, <laughs> oh, man. This is so... Oh, hey, we got a lot of money from that drop. Uh, so yeah, this is going to be a very interesting run. I don't know why I didn't re-roll uh, both of those items. Uh, we only need one more Guppy item to turn into Guppy, though, which is great since we are already only on uh, ugh, the Caves 1. And as long as we're careful, we should be able to get more deals with the Devil. And the nice thing is if we take damage, uh, we have to start the whole floor over anyway, or the whole room over. So as long as we make it to the boss fight without taking damage to begin with, then we have a pretty good chance of putting ourselves in a position where we won't be taking any damage. We still don't have a key. Uh, I still want to go to item rooms, of course, but I'm going to try and save all my uh, D6s for deals, possible deals with the devil. Um, the nice thing, too, about taking a lot of deals with the devil is that you're basically... Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, we got a key. I didn't just notice that. Uh, the nice thing about doing a lot of deals with the devil... Oh, my God. I need to be careful. This is a very high-risk run, and we're already down to seven lives. Uh, the nice thing though is if we take one hit, if we take one hit, we get to curse state. Oh my god! <laughs> oh god, we need something to give us spirit hearts quickly. Uh, that is not what I want. Polyphemus. Oh my god. Uh, this uh, scapular rerolled into Polyphemus is like a pretty amazing reroll. That's why I love the D6, man. I know I said I was gonna save D6s, but I figured I, I mean, I'd be shocked if I didn't get another D6. Um, by that time. Just like I said, what we need to hope for is that we get a lot of deals with the devil. That is what we need from the game. Uh, we might as well go to one room. And we, I guess since we have two bombs, we can check for the secret room as well. And since we have the lucky foot now, what I'm hoping, what I'm hoping for actually is this right here. Uh, I kind of wish I didn't just play that once. Let's see. Oh, I'm out of bombs. Actually, we have two keys now. Uh, what I what I was gonna say is what I want to happen is that we get a deal with the devil. Hold on, I'm trying to think this through. We get a deal with the devil, and we get more items, and then we can find one of these and get a bunch of spirit hearts. But since I just got spirit hearts, uh, I guess we shouldn't play this too much. Oh, uh, wait, actually, you know what? Uh, let's leave that there. We, I just realized we got the moon card. So uh, if we do get another deal with the devil, we will be able to use the rest of our hearts. Oh my, I forgot we had Polyphemus for a minute. Uh, we'll be able to use the rest of our hearts and then go back and get some spirit hearts. Because that's what I want to happen. I want to have... I want to be able to use most of our nine lives and be able to get deals with the devil. And then on our last life, or whatever we're planning on being like our main life, whether that be like our fourth or third... Uh, oops. I don't really want the flat penny. Let's go ahead and go to our boss fight. I don't know if this is making any sense, like what I'm planning to do. It, it, trust me, it will make more sense as we get a little bit further. Uh, I'm just kind of expecting like very specific things to happen, which you can never really do in The Binding of Isaac because, you know, it's a randomizing game. That's the whole point of it. Ah, don't take damage, please. I don't want to take damage. Also, it's too bad ah, we took damage, which probably means we won't get to deal with the devil now, but it doesn't guarantee it. I don't know why I didn't just come over to the side. I have a bad habit of actually trying to like take out Gertie's enemies when I don't actually have to. We could still get to deal with the devil. I mean, it's you know not uncommon to get take damage in a boss fight and still get to deal with the devil. Um, I I'd like to know like specifically like I I really want to see like a breakdown of oh man that was oh my god we died well i mean that's not actually that big of a deal because <laughs> we have more lives my i i immediately was like oh my god but then i was like oh wait never mind that doesn't matter all right so this is actually a good thing that that happened um just because of the fact that now oh my god because now that we if we take damage we or now we don't have to worry about potentially not getting a deal with the double actually i don't know that I don't know if it still counts the damage we took earlier, uh, if it takes that into consideration. All these questions and more 
Or, like, I'd love to just be able to talk to Edmund McMillan. What the hell? This is bad. This is not turning out nearly as easy as I hoped it would. Honestly, I really think that the big problem is that we're fighting fucking Gertie. I really hate fighting Gertie. So actually, this is probably the best form we could fight. This is the one that just makes flies. As long as we stay on this side, we should probably be fine, right? Except he's going to make a huge army of flies, and we're just going to have to, at the end, deal with it. Hashtag deal with it. Sorry. I almost forgot the hashtag. Um, too bad he doesn't make, it doesn't make a bomb nub. That would be really convenient. There's going to be so many flies over there. Oh my god. Too bad we don't have a uh, Scatoli, because I don't think you can have Scatoli this early on in the game, can you? Alright, no damage so far. Uh, we're not going to grab that Spearheart yet, just in case we do get to deal with the Devil. Which we might. You never know. Uh, we still need one more Guppy item. I mean, if this, if we die, like, I don't even care about success, as long as we get Guppy. Or get like a really silly, overpowered run, that would be entertaining. Oops. Deal the devil? No, no deal with the devil. HP upgrade. I don't really want it. <laughs> I don't really want that either. Uh, like I said, I'm not trying to have... Hey, we only have five lives left, so that makes me kind of nervous. Please the moon card. Come back in here. You know, we probably should have taken it. Being a little... I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm trying to do now. We still have plenty of floors to go through, but at the same time, you know, I'm a little nervous whether or not we'll even be able to... The Hermit? We'll hold on to this, I guess. Kane's Eye. Kane's Eye. Do, 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 do. He's crying. Kane's Eye has seen a lot of love, but... In... Hey, it's Isaac's Head. Um, I don't think I've ever picked that up. What does Isaac's Head do again? Oh, yeah, it gives us a little familiar. A little Isaac familiar. It's so cool. Alright, that's probably... No, I was going to say, it's probably enough playing that for now. And uh, the game kind of decided for me. No, 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 I want Isaac's head. I only really want Isaac's head because it's, I think it's, I mean, it's something I don't think I've ever had before. So, it'll be interesting. I'm starting to think this episode might not even end up being posted just because if Nine Lives doesn't act... If I don't actually end up getting another Guppy head, this whole run is kind of like, uh I mean, unless I beat it, then just beat it. Or, uh, unlock Guppy. I said Guppy's head, but that's not what I meant. There are a lot of enemies coming after me, and they, why do they have so much health? I'm always so surprised when Polyphemus doesn't take something out first try, like, first hit. But I guess Polyphemus really isn't that overpowered. And when I was hit taking things out super fast earlier, it was also because I had a cursed state going. Damage upgrades would be nice. I, I still, like, right, that's exactly what I was gonna say is we won't. We haven't really gotten much from the deal with the devil room, and we haven't ran into any pills, which is actually kind of frustrating because we did get luck foot earlier. But I guess then again, luck foot also allowed us to get some spirit hearts from the thing. I, I wonder if that. Ooh, let's go in here. Nothing. Nothing. Just a bunch of live bombs. Nothing to see here. This is a bit, like a, this is such a big risk run. I mean, there's not much risk involved because I mean, if I lose, whatever we. This video doesn't go up. It doesn't really matter that much. Uh, eight wolf. That's kind of odd, but I'm going to reroll it. Oh, f f I thought it was Mom's Knife. I got all excited. But uh, Sacrificial Dagger is good. Uh, if enemies get close, then they get killed. So, Well, not killed per se, but it does a lot of damage to enemies that come close up. Uh, let's go to... Let's see if there's a secret room right here, actually. I should probably be looking for these secret rooms after I fight the boss, just in case there's another... Uh, fortune teller we got some interesting items right now like a lot I mean other than pageant boy of course pageant boy is still shitty but like sacrificial dagger Isaac's head uh, gup, uh, nine lives which gives us a little floating guppy head I don't know it's all very interesting to me I guess we could have gone and fought our boss now let's go ahead and do that I really hope we get a deal with the devil here, and I also hope... I'll be really upset if we get a deal with the devil and Krampus is inside. I, I mean, it's not the end of the world, but I'll be a little bummed. Just because you can't re-roll Krampus or Slump of Coal. Uh, the Fall... Ooh, the Fallen. Uh, really interesting, actually. Oh, you know what? Shit, I should have uh, 
played that blood bank once. So we could have uh, been in cursed state for this. I didn't. Even, I was thinking like I was like looking at the blood bank. I'm like, why do I feel so tempted to do something with this? And I literally just could not think of what I could do with the blood bank. I'm like, well, I don't have any health, so why would I use the blood bank? All right, we are taking a lot of damage here. Probably won't get. Oh, we did get a deal with the devil, and we got bloody rage. Let's see what's in here. Fuck you, Krampus. Uh, we'll do our best to beat Krampus here. I know you can't re-roll. Well, there's that. Oh, we didn't die, though. Ugh. Um, I know we can't re-roll, but we'll probably re-roll Bloody Lust, even though I probably shouldn't. Uh, we're gonna do it, because why the hell not, you know? Yeah, alright. Um, because it could give us a guppy item, it could give us Mom's Knife, it could give us anything interesting. Boom. Guppy's head. Do we just turn into Guppy? Are we Guppy? I don't know if we're Guppy or not. Guppy's hairballs appeared in the basement. Oh yeah, look at us, we're Guppy. Oh, he's so cute. All right, job well done, I must say. I'm very, very pleased about this. Uh, let's go back and get, there was some money here. So yeah, Guppy, for whatever reason, can fly. Um, I don't really know what else is, uh... here, let's see. Did we get Guppy's hairball when we turned into Guppy? No, we don't. I, I, like I said, okay, now, for the record, I'm not expecting to succeed in this run. Uh, that is not on the agenda. This is more just kind of, whoa! What the hell? Ooh. Where did we get all those flies? That was weird. That was very odd. Um, do I want to roll, I think I might just roll Guppy's head, just to kind of keep the Guppy theme rolling. I mean, I guess we could have gone and got more re-rolls, then, oh, you know what, maybe we should do that. Um, I don't know, I like using Guppy's head, though. I'm conflicted. Guppy's head's just a lot of fun, because you can use it every single uh, room. I like any item that does that. Makes the game interesting. Let's see what's in here. Uh, I know I have enough keys to do it, but I'm not confident enough in my ability. Well, now we can't re-roll it anyway, so never mind. I don't think we would have had enough rooms to begin with. Okay, so interesting stuff going on now. Uh, we got... We're playing as Guppy. Like, I, I know I don't sound as, like, amazed or excited because I know this isn't that difficult, per se. But I'm more just surprised. I didn't expect to get it this soon. I thought this would be something I'd struggled with for a while. Yeah, let's just roll with Guppy's head. I'm gonna see why not. So, Cool. I know this is one of those things that a lot of people struggle to do, uh, but I also know most people str oh, fuck. I know a lot of people struggle with the idea of going to the, uh, uh, sacrifice rooms, but I'm really glad I started, like, I started going to them, because they really do help out a lot. We're doing a lot of damage. I don't know why specifically. Oop, don't want to open that on accident. It'd be cool if Guppy was a playable character. No, don't attack the masks! You fool! Uh, we're under facing Necropolis, which kind of sucks. Uh, if this is, ends up being a really short video, I apologize. Uh, but it's possible just because of the fact that... Let's see what's in here. Uh, a bunch of flies. What a horrible day! Oh my god, demon guppy. It's really, it's really just giant guppy, so not that big a deal. Uh, I got hit. Uh, hopefully we get a health upgrade, because now is the time where I want to be able to build up a run of some sort. I know it's not not likely, but if we can get a health upgrade, which that's what we got, we could win this. Like, we could pull this together. Uh, oh, shit. We really might pull this together. Oh, my God. So we got Polyphemus, Mutant, uh, Spider. So we're doing a lot. Of, we are definitely a glass cannon now. Um, I'm going to try to probably cling on to these four lives. Instead of, I probably should fight Super Greed, actually. I could have won. It's too late now. I just don't want to, like, do something that might risk me losing. But then again, it could have been, been nice to go over to that shop. Oh, well. Um, we should probably also make sure we use Guppy's head as often as we can. I hate those things. This is a really cool run. I'm, I'm so glad this, this worked out. I do apologize again. I know I started this run, like, from the point of, like, oh, well, something might go well. I don't like doing that. Ooh, shit. I uh, wish, even though I don't like doing this, we're probably sh we probably should backtrack to that red heart back there just because, you know, health is a pretty important thing. 
Because, you know, we could easily turn this around if we find the relic or if we find... Or if we could play the, uh... If we find the relic or we run into an arcade and we get to play... What's that thing called? I can't remember. Fortune Teller. I don't know why I keep forgetting what the Fortune Teller is called. Fortune Teller? Why are we making so many flies? Does that... I didn't mean to use it that time because we can't even... Can't produce more flies. Oop, shit. All right, well, we're back down to one heart, unfortunately. I feel like we should go fight Greed and go to the shop because then that means the shop is available. We'll see where we're at. Because I, 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 maybe we should we should open the shop first just to see if there's anything in there really worth risking it. Uh, this should be a good pill. It's a telepills. Let's take it, I guess. Uh, I don't. Oh, we we, we should have gone in there. Oh, we couldn't have gone in there. We don't have less than full health. All right, let's roll back to the rock until the dawn of time and sing this song with me. Shout out to We're Back at Dinosaur Story. Let's go ahead and see what's in our shop since we have five keys. We're only going to get one more shop, so all right. Nun's Habit is pretty much useless to us. But we did get a Spirit Heart and potentially another Spirit Heart. Uh, yep. I was kind of hoping for Small Rock as well, but that's okay. Uh, we can't get the Tarot card. Wait, does every time we shoot, we get flies? That's kind of what it looks like. Because it almost seems like they gave us Guppy's hairball in us turning into Guppy, which I guess is... Let's see, what happens when I shoot this? It's hard to tell. I don't think they're giving me flies. I'm just going to stand over here while you guys uh, do my bidding. Thank you. Oh, man, Guppy... Like, I still... I, I say this a lot, but I, I love Guppy's head. I think it's such a good item. Oh, God. Don't die, please. Oh, shit. We're taking a lot of dumb damage. We're taking dumb damage. We're going down. Not quite. I guess, you know, we could have used... Oh, Star's card will give us free item room next floor. And we're going to fight Loki. Um, if I get another deal with the devil, I may... Depending on what's inside, I may use my lives to go in there. But we didn't get a deal with the devil. We got an HP upgrade, though. See? We're back to base health. Which, you know, going into Necropolis 2 isn't really that impressive, but... All things considered, you know, not that bad. Um, we definitely did not use, we got Guppy's Paw, and we, I feel like we maybe should have, I don't know. It'd be cool if we got Guppy's Paw now, it would be better anyway, because then we could get 12 Spirit Hearts, and I think we could beat the game with 12 Spirit Hearts. Oh my god, we get so many flies, it's amazing. Uh, I want to go into that sacrifice room, but, yeah, let's do it, why not? We've gone to most of them anyway. Uh, more flies that we couldn't possibly need. Uh, I don't... At this point, though... Oh, wait. Let's use our stars card. Might as well. Ooh, Guardian Angel! Oh. Hey, it makes our flies spin. Ooh, that kind of makes me dizzy. Uh, that's another thing. I'm sorry, but I accidentally unlocked Guardian Angel. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. I didn't realize I didn't have it unlocked. Uh, range upgrade? Sure, why not? This run, man. I'm telling you. I mean, I'm not going to be, like, super bummed if we lose, because we don't have a lot of health. And I... The only reason I think we might win now is because we got Guardian Angel. So it's going to be really hard for Isaac to hit us. I think we have a good chance against Isaac. I don't know about Blue Baby. But you never know. I mean, we could still get things that allow us to beat him, so... We should definitely go to the shop on this floor. Well, maybe. Still not sure. Should also be looking for secret rooms, which I haven't been for whatever crazy reason. Could be one over here. No, there's actually a lot of possible places this could be, but I don't ever look for them on the womb, so we might as well try and find this one. Uh, we got some money, so we definitely want to go to the shop. And I was actually hoping that would we should find. I hope there's an arcade here. That would be really good. I keep forgetting to use Guppy's head in every room. There's no reason for me not to. That's like a bunch of free damage to do to, uh, to the room. Oh, that was close. That would have been a whole heart of damage. I forgot we could fly, too. I could have just... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I accidentally used it before we left the room because I thought, oh, we don't have any. Uh, you know what would be good, actually, is Ouija board. Ouija board would be really good right now. Uh, mom's, yeah, sure, why not? Uh, let's buy a key as well. 
Uh, we might as well take that because I like using Isaac's head. Did we kill that one? Very cool. Get them, my pretties. Oops. Totally shot that the wrong way, but the flies made up for my mistake. Uh, I'm not going to go fight Mom yet because how can there not be an arcade? How has there not been a single arcade yet? That just seems so weird to me. Could be up here, though. So Can't count it out yet. Nope, no arcade. Weird. Nick arcade. All right. So I wish there was no limit to how many fly, like blue flies you could have. I mean, I, I feel like that would make Guppy's head overpowered. But I don't care. I don't care about nothing. All right. All right, so we're fighting a blue mom, which, you know, won't be too bad. Oh, man, that did so much damage. Uh, is she even going to be able to spawn enemies? Yeah, she did. Wow, we are powerful. Holy shit. What is this? Two of diamonds. Doubles our money. We did not have much money, so that's not that good. I don't really know. I mean, I guess doubling our bombs is the only thing I would have actually liked to have. So we don't have a map or a compass, which does make me a little bit worried uh, just because we are very vulnerable still. And I'd like to be able to build up our spirit heart still. I need to make sure I use uh, Guppy's head as often as possible. And that I uh, fly over rocks when I can, just so to keep myself safe. Uh, Guardian Angel, though, I've already noticed it saved me a few times. Like, already in this room. I'm kind of being reckless on purpose just to see how... Not forgiving, I should say, but how helpful it is. We did just take damage there, though. But see, in this room, this room should be easy, because all we really need to do is hide by the rocks and let Sacrificial Dagger do its thing. That was... I got a little too close there. Got impatient more so... Oh! Sat, oh my god, we got Sad Onion. Holy shit. Uh, I didn't mean to pick that up, but I'm glad I did. Let's just go fight our boss. It's going to be death. So we're going to replace our... Oh my god, look how fast our shots are going, man. Uh, we're going to replace one of our cubes of... Or one of our... We're going to attack... Ugh, can get rid of our attack fly. Uh, look at this. Okay, it seemed much faster. That's pretty fast, though, for quad shot Polyphemus. Look at all these flies! This is insane. I wish, like, I seriously wish you could have that many flies. Handle that room like a pro. Uh, money, which is not really what I want. Uh, my hand is uh, numb, so I apologize for the brief pause. I would go into that room, but the fact that it costs a whole red heart, I am trying, because I, I actually think we could win this now, and I don't want to, like, you know, even though I like going into the sacrifice rooms, I also like winning, and I don't think, I think if we die again, we won't have much of a chance of winning, so. Except now, I really want to go into that room. So if we find a blood bank, I'm going to play that blood bank. I really just want to find an arcade to begin with, because I want, I want more spirit hearts, man, I need my fix. God, those blue flies do so much damage. It's beautiful. Uh, Alright, so let's go up here. Just a red heart. Lonely red heart. Uh, what's this pill? Health up. Uh, tears up, okay. I'm pretty, I feel like our tears are already as high up as they can go, but uh, that's okay. I can't believe we got Guppy! I, I feel so bad that I'm not like, blah! But, you know, it, it's. I'm not surprised, uh, just because I've been getting really close lately. And uh, now that I've, like, realized the amazingness of Nine Lives and those sacrifice rooms, and I appreciate, like, seriously, people who push, like, Let's Players like myself and Northern Lion to go in there, keep doing that, because I personally was like, what is the point of going in there? And honestly, it it's, it's like, why would you play a Blood Bank, t like, once or twice when you can go in there and you can get something better, in my opinion, than a Blood Bag? You can get a Deal with the Devil item for free. Whether it's in there, or whether it's, uh, I don't know, I'm just saying, like, they're, they're really good rooms. And I can't believe I went this long. I can't believe I went 140 hours, or 130 hours, without really trying to use them. Uh, High Priest discard, and, uh, Mr. Boom Boom Boom. Do not want. Uh, let's go, we're on Utero, I didn't even notice we were on Utero. We will go... 
Oh, shit. That's a troll bomb. This way. Ah, arcade! Yay. Okay. We could have just let the flies do our bidding, but whatever. Uh, unfortunately, no, uh... No, uh, what are those things called? Wow. Uh... Fortune Teller. God, I always forget the name of that thing. I'm kind of just playing these both a lot since we do have a fair amount of money, and if we can get some Red Hearts from them, uh, or Scatoli. Basically, I'm just trying to see what kind of benefits we can get from this. Because I do still want to go to that uh, boss trap room. And if we can get a health upgrade, that would be fantastic. Um, but we would got to remember. Tears up. Okay. It's hoping for a health up pill. But I, you know, it's not necessarily something that happens that often. Also, if we can play the blood bank a lot. We, we can get a shit ton of flies around us. Not that they'll last long. They leave after this room, but that's okay. Where did the flies go? I don't think I've ever seen him pay out with three cents before. I mean, he might have. I just don't ever pay attention, you know. Alright, come on. Red hearts. More red hearts. So we can play this two more times. Oh, I keep forgetting that. That you can play this twice even uh, in here. I, I don't know how I keep forgetting that. With how much I play the blood banks. I feel like that should be ingrained in my memory. Embroidered, if you will. More hearts. Let's play that once. And I think this is a tele pill. A health up. Did we? Oh, this part was probably a health down at one point. Uh, so I really want to keep playing these now. Like I said, I'm not going to apologize for taking advantage of something. Get him. For something that the game offers me to play and take advantage of. So, sorry if it bothers you. I don't think it does, though. I don't think I've ever gotten a complaint. But then again, I always address it in my video. So maybe when someone's about to type that complaint, they're like, Oh, well, you already said it, so... Oh, well, no point in complaining. Damn it, I forgot to play it again! <laughs> I keep getting... I'm just getting excited to, like, potentially get something good. Yay! And hopefully we can get up to full health. Alright, let's play twice. There we go. I'm also kind of paranoid that I'm going to kill myself on it. There was a bloody penny earlier. Like, way earlier, and I... Almost wish I took it, but at the same time, it's like, how was I ever gonna know that we we're gonna come across this? Another gears upgrade. Oh my god! Look at that. That is amazing. That's like making me dizzy. God, you better fucking pay out, Blood Bank. We got like three pretty flies. Look at that! That is d insane! I cannot believe... Well, and that's the crazy thing, though, is that it's Polyphemus Quad Shot. So, Quad Shot slows you down, like, slows your shots a lot, and then Polyphemus slows your shots a lot. So, could you imagine how high a rate of fire would be if we had, like, n neither of the... Like, neither of those upgrades, and if we had, like, can the Cancer Trinket. Yeah, we're making that wall all dirty. Looks nasty. Looks nasty. We got all these flies with us, too. If we just stand here, they'll spin super fast. Could do some like cool uh, aerial moves. Not aerial from the Little Mermaid. Aerial from uh, like aerial uh, in the air, so to speak. Getting a lot of bombs too, which is good. Not really what I want, but. <laughs> this is so much fun. Hey, I've never gotten this pill. Oh no, this is a speed upgrade. Sure, why not? This is so much fun. I love this game. I, I seriously, I, I was talking to my one of my coworkers, uh, Nick. He's like one of my good friends, and I work with him at GameStop. And he was talk. We were talking about this game. He's like, so it's like randomizing, right? I'm like, yeah. And he's like, how can you like, like I mean, how much have you played the game? I'm like, I don't know. I put like 150 hours. And he was like, holy shit, how do you play a game like that that long? I'm like, dude, that's nothing. I have a friend who's put like more like I don't know how many hours Northern Lines put into it. I think 600 hours. No, I don't think he's put that much. It's probably. 500 hours or like 450 hours i don't know i'd be very curious to know because i don't think he um i don't know if he does what i do in the fact that like i don't post all the runs i do i don't think so because i get really grumpy when i have a run not going well for me I, it was the same issue i had with spelunky northern lion's much better at being patient with his runs which you know 
Sounds like a personal issue, which I shouldn't even have brought up. Sorry, Northern Lion. Oh, you know what? I just realized something. We should probably uh, take this telepills and go to that boss room, boss trap room, and just teleport out when we're done. I kind of just hope it's a health upgrade, because it's kind of all I want right now. I'm hoping for another half heart, though, so we can get to one full heart. But I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? Let's just play this. Oh, and we're going to get into Cursed State. That's pretty cool. Oh, and we got... Oh, shit, son! No, damn it! Why did I just take that? Fuck. <laughs> oh, that was really dumb. There was, like, literally nothing I could do to get rid of this red heart, either. Except, you know, lower my health. Shit. I can't believe I did that. I didn't mean to grab it. Well, we got an HP upgrade. Let's just hope that there wasn't actually something good in there. Oh, you know what? Let's try to telepills in there. Maybe it could work. Oh, I got all excited, but then I realized that we weren't there. Let's just try and bomb the rooms adjacent to it. Yeah, I didn't think so. Um, I guess let's go fight our boss and let's go fight mom. Look at all these fucking tears. This is amazing. This might, I don't know. I don't like saying it because I say it all the time, but this seriously might be one of the best runs I've ever had. Nine lives, man. Nine lives is a fantastic item and everyone should use it. Not fooling. Uh, let's go ahead and make our flies here. Two hits, man. Insanity. Oop. It's insanity like a workout. Uh, two people don't bomb me. Look at all this damage we're doing! Oh, shit. I thought that she threw a green bomb at us. I'm like, what was that? That was nuts. That was nuts! Uh, two people are playing as Isaac. Um, just for the fact that, like, we're not gonna, like, accomplish anything per se. Well, no, we accomplished something. We got Guppy. That's an accomplishment. I don't care who you're playing as. I don't care who you are. Uh, I'm feeling much more confident, by the way, that we're going to beat Isaac and Blue Baby. I mean, we might not be Blue Baby. It's going to be more a question of how the cathedral goes. And then I'll probably be able to tell more. It's also a shame we don't have uh, all Spirit Hearts. Because be this would be a great run to be able to run up and be able to just like stand next to Isaac because of the Sacrificial Dagger. Because of all of our orbitals, actually. All of our orbitals do like a decent amount of damage, probably. Well, I know Sacrificial Dagger does. I don't know about Guardian Angel. Guardian Angel makes them spin faster, though, so I imagine that makes it so it's just always doing damage. Ah, oh, damn it. We're not going to get another... That's fine, whatever. I was say, we're not going to get another charge of our uh, guppy's head, but it's like, who really cares? I can't believe we took a hit there. Uh, you know what? We should probably just stand here and hope that uh, Guardian Angel... All right. Um, when we get hit, we should probably run up and... Touch him. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to be able to beat uh, Blue Baby, but we're crushing Isaac. Get out of here. Yeah, that was amazing. Um, obviously, it wasn't the best. We should probably just, we got to make sure we just have one red heart, too. Let's see. Uh, actually, not that bad. Uh, Demon Baby, Blood of the Martyr. 25 cent. I don't really care about that. And uh, Mr. Mega. That's actually really good uh, chest pickups. Oh, shit. There's no reason to be in this room. Except to fight Wrath. Fine. You want to fight bombs with bombs? Ooh, that was close. I should probably go into that secret room, but we almost beat him anyway. Um, I don't think we're going to win here unless, uh, I was going to say, unless there's a fortune teller in here. But there's not. Um, let's go. Actually, let's go that way. I really hate that we don't have the compass, I gotta say. Oh, shit. <laughs> Demon Baby was a great pickup, by the way. Um, we should probably try to kill Glutton last on the off chance he gives us an HP upgrade. Uh, Demon Baby apparently has a plan of its own. Hey! It worked! Sweet. I love it when a plan comes together. Oh, fuck, that was close. Oh, my God, I zelda the item... But was still able to dodge because of our speed being so high. I'm not going to lie. I'm really getting into playing... Oh, my God. Oh, right. Duh. Gold chests uh, give you... Gold just gives you wings. Uh, gold chests give you uh, items in this. I totally forgot that. We are conquering everything. My Lord. We got a nice little collection of familiars, too. 
What a great run. I, honestly, like I said, this is a total victory for me whether we actually beat Blue Baby or not. Which, you know, I'll be honest, I'm not thinking we will. But it could happen. Um, especially since uh, Rainbow Baby can slow. We should probably try to take out War first. Um, which, really, oh my god. So apparently War had the entire health bar. We just destroyed Famine. Ah, damn it. Uh, I'd rather have Poison Touch than anything else. Demon Baby, stop it! Ah, damn it. Oh, we should probably make sure we pick up health. Yeah, I was gonna grab that. Oh, there's uh, health right there. Oh. I'm gonna just, just for the sake of I don't want to be embarrassed by running into that fire. Ah, oh, man. Damn you. Except this is an easy fight. I, God, I don't think we've ever been doing this much damage before. And I don't know what that's a direct result of, because I don't think we actually picked up anything. And we got, I mean, we have Blood of the Martyr now, which is obviously a huge damage upgrade. But we got Polyphemus Quad Shot, though, so I guess that is probably a main reason for that. Um, Alright. Oh, fucking Eternal Heart. Uh, there's, a, okay. Basically functions as a red heart, if you think about it in this level. I mean, it functions like a spirit heart, I guess, technically. It's, uh... I love... I, oh, damn it. Oh, no, it doesn't funk. Well, yeah, it gave us... Okay, so I don't really know what to describe that as. I guess it just functions as half a red heart. <laughs> Spider butt. Ooh, actually, holy shit. That's a good pickup. Um... That might, this might be what allows us to beat, well, maybe not. If I had a, I should have bought Nun's Habit earlier. It's just, you know, I had Guppy's Head, so it was like, well, I'm probably not going to need something where I can use this item every every room. Except this charge is fast. But now, I mean, obviously, if I had Nun's Habit, I could use it every two hits. I think so. Plus, Spider Butt's a new item. Uh, I'm not recording myself playing, doing those challenge runs just because I think they're really boring to record. Um, so I recorded most of them. The only one I haven't done yet is the Purist run because that run is a pain in the ass. Um, but I do think this will be more helpful than uh, the Guppy's Head. Oh, we got double uh, Monstro for the finale of the chest. Well, not really for the finale, but the... Uh, the entree, or the appetizer, the final appetizer, I guess, in the appetizer tray that is the chest. Oh, fuck. Well played, I guess. Uh, we should probably backtrack for a full red heart, since we can. I don't see why not. I'm out Northern Lion, I'll just skip items. Sorry, Northern Lion. Shots fired. But, you, know. Uh, you know what? We can also make some more flies real quick before we do that. Did we? Yeah, we did. I mean, why not, right? I mean, it's an advantage the game is going to allow me to have, so why wouldn't I take it? And we do have the half red heart, and we do get four tries at this, but of course, the other four tries will be with one heart, which, that's probably not going to happen, but you never know, crazier things have happened. Not really. Um, we should probably wait to use spider butt, um, till he gets, I don't know, third phase? Should we wait for that long? I mean, maybe we should just wait till the last minute. Uh, we are taking way less damage, though. This is amazing. Alright, we'll use it now. I probably should have used it when, uh... Oh my god, we did it! Holy shit! That was amazing! Best Isaac run, easily, hands down. Guppy, that was awesome. I want to get Guppy, like... I mean, I know a lot of people, like, it seems like a lot of people, what they try to do is get, uh... A lot of Spirit Hearts and Polaroid Invincibility. I think the way to go was getting Guppy, because that was insane. Then again, I had Quad Shot Polyphemus, so I'm sure that had a lot more to do with it than I realize. But guys, thank you for joining me for a fantastic uh, Isaac run. We still have a couple more things to do before we get to uh, Golden God, and then a few more things to do till we get to Platinum God. So guys... I'm Red Panda Gamer. Like this video, favorite this video, comment you, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And do forget to show your love. I'm Red Panda Gamer. I'll see you guys next time.